So that is how you can simply host an HTML and CSS files using GitHub Action. Hey folks, I am Aksagan, I make videos on web technologies and I am known as KatakDev on internet. Today we will talk about GitHub pages. What are they and how to make one? The second part is divided further into four parts. A simple HTML and CSS page, a React application, a Next.js application, and a Jekyll application. So now let's talk about what is GitHub Pages. GitHub Pages is a static hosting service that takes HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files straight from your repository on GitHub. Optionally, runs the files through a build process and publish a website in case of React.js and Next.js application. Now that we know what is GitHub Pages, let's make a simple HTML website using GitHub Page. To do so, simply make a new repository on GitHub, upload your HTML and CSS to the repository, go to Settings, Pages, select the branch and the path where you want to save it and click on the save button. Try to open your website, you can see it says website not found. The reason for this is a missing GitHub action. So you can simply fix this by adding a theme which will add a config file and then later on you can remove that file and that will work perfectly fine. So that is how you can simply host an HTML and CSS files using GitHub action. Now let's talk about React.js application. For that I have a basic React application that I created using Create React app. Hosting React application is a bit different. You will need to use this npm package called GH pages. You will need to add a home page in your package.json which is your github page path and two scripts. The scripts are pre-deploy and deploy. Now once you do the changes, simply commit your files and push it to github. Then the next step is to deploy it using github pages. So simply execute the command which is npm run deploy. Now once you deploy your website and go to github page, you will see 404 page not work. This is because one of the GitHub actions is in progress and you need to wait for that to be completed. So once that is completed and then you check the website again, you will see that your website is working perfectly fine. Now hosting Next.js applications on GitHub pages is a little complex task. By complex, I mean you need to do some work. So I will make a separate video on that. And for now, let's move on to Jekyll application. Hosting Jekyll application is something that's quite simple. For this purpose, I have the simple application where I will add a package to the gem file. This package is for GitHub pages. After that, I have to simply install the bundle, but this will result in an error. To solve this, I have to delete the gemfile.gov file and then do the bundle update and commit and push my changes. Then go to actions in my GitHub repository and wait for the action to be completed. Once completed, I can visit the website. So that is GitHub pages. If you like the video, subscribe for more content.